paralyzed. Hallelujah. Amen. So as I said, yesterday we started looking at Mark chapter 2. And in Mark chapter 2, um, we saw how a man was carried by a group of uh, his friends. Four men carried him and they were carrying him to Jesus for um, for his healing. And he was not able to do anything for himself, but um, they got there. They had a lot of challenges that they met. They were met with the challenges of a big crowd. They were met with a challenge of so many things, but they still managed to get him through the roof because they were determined that his day of healing had arrived. Yes. Yesterday, as I said, we looked at the definition of paralysis. We looked at how we apply it to our life and how it translates itself into the inability to take action in our lives. Today, we are going to look at the real steps on how do we destroy paralysis. So I'm going to do as fast as I can so that when we are praying, I'm so I'm going to be preaching and praying at the same time that we look at how do we destroy paralysis? How do we destroy this paralysis? Amen, somebody. And then the final part will be uh, when we do look at what happens after we have destroyed paralysis. How do we equip ourselves beyond that point? Amen. The first step that you do when you are destroying paralysis is that you need to be in an awareness state. Hallelujah. Open your ears. Open your hearts. Breakthroughs will happen all around you. You need to make sure that you are alert. Somebody shout to your neighbor, awareness. Be aware. Be aware. You will not be paralyzed. Be aware of what is happening around you. Be aware of the subtle attacks that will come from the enemy. That the subtle, you know, the enemy is never happy when people are liberated. Be aware. Open your ears. Open your hearts. Breakthroughs happen um, anytime from anywhere. Hallelujah. We saw that. Just as he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So it does not matter. You can be on this simple broadcast and you receive your breakthrough. Awareness. Hallelujah. Are you are we are we preaching together this morning? And 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 we see when we track in the word, blind Bartimaeus was blind, but he had an open ear and he had an open heart. So even when blind Bartimaeus could not, Bartimaeus could not see. He could not see, but he was determined. There is something that happens when you know that you are tired of going around the same mountain. When you know that it is time for a switch. When you know that it is time to say, you know what, enough in, is enough. The devil is a liar. Mark chapter ten verse forty six says, Jesus. Jesus and his disciples went to Jericho and as they were leaving, they were followed by a large crowd. A blind beggar by the name of Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, was sitting beside of the road. I don't know if there is somebody in the crowd right now, somebody in the audience, somebody who's listening to me, who is saying, Pastor, I've been sitting by the side of the road. I feel like I'm a soccer player. I've been put on a bench. I've been trying to say, I want to get into the field. I want to get into the place where... You know, I'm also participating in this thing called life. I want to get into the field where I'm fighting. He says, I have been sitting by the side of the road and, 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 and I'm at the point of giving up. I don't know how long you've been sitting by the side of the road and you have given up thinking that nothing good will ever come out of your life. But this morning, God has told asked me to come to you and tell you that you can destroy par paralysis. How do we destroy paralysis? in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody type it again there in the comment section saying destroying paralysis. Amen. We are destroying paralysis, destroying paralysis, destroying paralysis. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. How are we tracking on Facebook and on YouTube? Please make sure that somebody gives me an alert on TikTok so that I know that I'm carrying everybody along. Hallelujah. I don't want to leave anybody behind today. I don't want to leave any single person today. Hallelujah. 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 We are destroying paralysis. Hallelujah. Rokosi kalama shetekida bayasanda. Be aware. Okay awesome great stuff thank you so much facebook to show me that you are tracking with me everything awesome awesome so we now see the example of batameos who says i'm sitting by the roadside but i know a miracle is about to happen i know something is about to hit have you ever come to that position when you know i have been suffering long enough but i know something is bubbling in my spirit this morning i am destroying paralysis i am destroying some paralysis 
analysis is about to end. Verse 47 of Mark chapter 10 says, When he heard that it was Jesus from Nazareth, he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I need people who are ready to shout this morning, who are ready to shout out to God and say, have mercy on me. I may not see, I may not, I may, I may be buried in the pillar of tears. I have, I may be buried in debt. I may be buried in things that seem to be like not working out, but I heard that my miracle this morning has come. And therefore I will make sure that if I am not seen, I am heard. Talk to me, somebody. He said like the same guy who was paralyzed and fought beyond, be, be, for, uh, you know, through the crowd. And he said, if I can't get through the crowd, I'll get through the roof. Remove the roof if you have to. Remove the roof and shout if you have to. Son of David, have mercy on me. Talk to me. Somebody says, have pity on me. It's been enough. I've been sitting on the side of the road. I've been begging for too long. I've been a charity case too long. Talk to me, somebody. I want to tell you that every report, every news that you need, that you need, everything that, that needed to you, you needed to hear this morning, that your paralysis is about to be destroyed has come to you. And we pray this morning to God and we petition God and we petition all our angels to say, oh, my father, my father, any report, any news that I need to receive that my paralysis is about to be broken and give it to me now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, those who are giving every power, every behavior, every attitude that has shut down my ability to see, that has shut down my ability to hear any behavior, any power, any spirit, any power, any attitude, whether it came from me or people that shut down my ability to hear that there is a master that is coming my way. Any power, any behavior, any attitude that has shut down my be my ability to know and consider that new things are about to mushroom and spring forth in my life. My God, my God, I ask you to destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we rose this morning to declare and decree again that Lord uh, give us options in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my God, we pray to you this morning and say, Lord, give us fresh options uh, in your mercy, Lord. Uh, send us new ideas in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this paralysis must be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to shout it again. Uh, destroy every form of paralysis. Uh, destroy paralysis in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I see the Lord Lord giving you options in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I petition on behalf of your people. I stand in the gap with them and I pray with them, oh God. We lift up our prayers right now in the throne of grace. On this altar of prayer, Lord, we decree and we declare that every opportunity that can destroy paralysis in the life of a man and make him unstoppable, the Lord is releasing it to us today in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to receive that action, that anointing, that God is going to destroy every form of paralysis uh, that gives you options. Uh, I decree and I declare that nothing shall hold you back from being unstoppable in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I command that fortune uh, will receive a new chance. Uh, I don't know how many of you gave up, uh, but let me announce to you and decree and declare it that the Lord is giving you a new chance. Uh, Vimbai, there is a God of a second, third chance. I don't know how many chances you have needed and then ask God for, but the Lord says, I will give you a new chance. Anaga Bengele, Madike Lady, you are about to give again a new chance. Somebody shout it in that comment section and say new chance, a new opportunity, new chance, a new opportunity, new chance, opportunity, new chance, new opportunity, new chance, new opportunity. Every darkness that has been holding you down, let your light shine and destroy that paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me as I track in the verse two of Mark chapter two, that I should not worry about the crowd. That's the second 
thing that you need to realize that child of God, if you are going to destroy this paralysis that has been moving you backwards uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, you need to tell yourself the crowd does not matter. Somebody comment in the comment section. Crowd does not matter. The crowd does not matter. The crowd does not matter. I don't care how long the queue is. The crowd, it does not matter. Many were gathered together so that there was no room. Uh, that is what the scripture told us. Some people have gone to concerts and they are told uh, it's already full inside the stadium. It is already full inside the auditorium and you are tempted to give up and show back and you say, I'm going back. Somebody needs to tell the devil, I'm not going back. I'm going forward. I don't care what you have thrown at me. I don't care that you attacked me this morning. I don't care that you attacked me last night. Uh, I am going to show up. Uh, I don't care about the crowd. I don't care for the fact that the door is full. The door is jam-packed. I don't care that you decided to close the doors. Uh, I am a spiritual being. I'm going to transcend beyond, beyond, be through anyhow on top. If I have to fly on top, uh, I am going forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and the Bible says, and not even at the door could they come in. Hallelujah. He was preaching the word inside. Uh, he was about to release miracles uh, and the other people were locked out. Uh, I want to tell you anytime you have self felt yourself locked out, uh, don't give up. Keep pushing in. I see the Bible reminding me. The Lord, the Holy Spirit has just reminded me of the woman with the issue of the blood who was in the crowd. Uh, the Bible says that there was a woman with the issue of the blood for 12 years. Uh, she had had this problem for 12 years. Uh, how many of us would have given up on God uh, and the miracle and the healing after 12 years uh, listening to doctors telling you that there is no cure. You just have to manage the symptoms. How many times have we listened to uh, so many people telling us and discouraging us uh, and that we will not amount to anything. It has been 12 years. We must just accept the status quo. The devil is a liar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, God healed the woman with the issue of the blood in the crowd. When you track to Mark chapter 5 verse 25 uh, in the CEV version in the crowd uh, was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. Uh, the crowd almost distracted Jesus from healing the ruler's daughter. I don't know how many of you remember the story in Mark chapter 9 verse 23. The Bible says when Jesus went into the home of the official and he saw the musicians and the crowd of mourners. They've already gathered. They're already planning how they're going to withdraw from your insurance policy. They've gathered and they're already planning your funeral. They have gathered. They have said that he's already dead. There is no comeback. There is no comeback. Somebody tell somebody in the comment section, I'm the comeback kid. I'm the comeback kid. I'm the comeback child of God. I'm coming back. Hallelujah. And in verse 24, Jesus says, instead of being distracted, distracted by the crowd, he says, get out of here. Get out of here. This little girl is not dead. She's just asleep. Everyone started laughing at Jesus. If you track to verse 25, uh, the Bible says, but after the crowd uh, had been sent out of the house, uh, Jesus went to the girl's bedside. Uh, he took her by the hand and helped her up. Uh, I need to pronounce somebody to somebody this morning. You need to tell some people to get out of your life. Uh, you need to tell some people to get out of, even if their family members, whenever they are spreading negativity and telling you, you're not going to make it. You need to tell them, uh, get out, get out, get out and leave me. I will hold on to my Jesus. I will hold on to my faith. Get out. Get out. Somebody needs to shout it out with me. You need to shout out the crowd that is negative, that is telling you you are not coming through to your breakthrough. You need to take out the crowd that is telling you that your destiny shall not be fulfilled. You need to take out the crowd that is telling you that you will not amount to anybody. You will just be a hobo in life. The devil is a liar. You need to get the crowd out that tells you that nobody in your family ever gets to any place that how can we pray to a good God that removes curses that we, we still believe in the same curses that would come after us? It's a lie. Hallelujah. We have the power to deal with those curses and we have removed them. Talk to me. Somebody shout, get out. Get out. Get out. Even though many may be gathered and give the impression that you have no chance. Oh God, help our eyes to remain on you this morning. Help our eyes to remain on the Lord for the breakthrough through that we need. Uh, hey, they may be gathered. They may be many. Just because there are many does not mean that their opinion is the correct one. Every crowd factor, every crowd suggestion, my God, 
that is not allowing us to see clearly. Take them away, O oh God. Son of David, have mercy on me. Do you see me, son of David? Have mercy on me. Do not pass me by, my God. I don't care how many there are in the crowd. I don't care about their suggestions and their opinions. Have mercy on me. Every crowd that is gathering, that is about to gather to mourn my demise. Every crowd that is gathering, that is about to mourn and say, I have broken down in my destiny. Oh, my father, my father, show them that there is a God that helps men. Oh, Jesus, that prayer has just hit something in my belly. Right now, I want you to pray and say, Daddy, show them that there is a God that helps fortune. Put your name there and say, My Father, show them that there is a God that helps Patsy in the name of Jesus Christ. Show them that there is a God that helps Vimbai. Show them that there is a God that helps Mam Jester. Show them that there is a God that helps uh, uh, who is here. Cario Wosonda, mention your name, Dorothy, in the name of Jesus. Snay, show them that there is a Lord that blesses Hebert. Show them that there is a Lord that blesses Bugela in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, my God. There is a God that blesses Anna. God is a God that coming to show forth his help on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show them that there is a God. Oh my God. Whoever saw thought uh, that I will amount to a demise. Uh, they were they were launching at the morning session. They were busy pretending as if they were crying for me, and they're about to cry for me. But they wanted to pay benefit from my demise. Uh, I will not fall down. I will not die. I will not break down. I will not break down. Uh, somebody needs to tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm not breaking down. Uh, do you understand, Vimbai? I'm not breaking down. Uh, I am not breaking down. Ovi, there is no time to break down. Oh, the Bible says he took her by the hand and he helped her up. That child that was sick that they had concluded he was dead. My word says that he took her by the hand. Do you see the Lord's hand this morning on this altar? He's taking you by the hand and he's bringing you up. He's helping you up in the name of Jesus. Take my hand. Take my life. Take my strength. Take my weaknesses and help me up. Jesus, I come to you. I ask you. Take my hand. Take my life. Take my weaknesses. Take my strength. Help me up. Help me to maneuver. Help me to go up the ladder. Help me to shame the devil. Help me up. Oh, Jesus, let your mercy help me up. Shout it again and say, Jesus, help me up. I see when I check with the word of God and God says to me, fortune, you can destroy paralysis when you begin to understand that the door is not the only way. Talk to me. Shout it out, somebody. Somebody type it in that comment section. The door is not the only way. The door is not the only way. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible, yes, says that in Mark 2, verse 2, it says, though that so that there was no room, not even at the door. Yes, we hear you. There was no room, not even at the door. Then what do we do, Pastor Fortune? Because we can't enter through the door. There is no room inside. They said the chairs are finished. There's not even anybody. I can't even sit on the floor. The Bible tells me that Abraham was sure that God was going to be, be, present another option to killing Isaac. God asked him, he said, sacrifice your son. He went diligently. He did not complain, but he said, the Lord is going to sacrifice. There will be a lamb. The, 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 the young man was asking, so where is the lamb of sacrifice that we are going to kill? But inside, Abraham kept on being convinced that mm -mm, God will provide. God will provide a lamb. I don't know what he is, what it is and what form it's coming, but God will provide. Provide. Talk to me. You track with me when you go to Genesis chapter 22, verse 80. The Bible says, and Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both together and the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. Hallelujah. Do you hear the voice of God asking you and is, is asking, Bushe, where are you? Hallelujah. And Abraham lifted up his eyes. 
Sakaliamasunda. If we can't get through the door, we lift up our eyes. And he looked and behold, behind a ram in a thickest by his stones, his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Talk to me, somebody. There is no way the Lord will let the enemy skin you to the point where he takes your only prized possession. He will provide a sacrifice for you like he did for Abraham. Hallelujah. If you will just look and see, uh, there is a lamb, uh, there is a sacrifice, uh, there is provision around you. And verse 14 of Genesis 22 says, uh, and Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. And it is uh, to this day in the Mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. Uh, somebody shouts Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, my provider, my provider, provide for me the things that I need, equip me with the things I need. Oh, my father, show me the alternative. Show me the alternative. Show me the alternative. Let us pray together. Come on, somebody. Show me the alternative. Show me the alternative. Oh, the alternatives to obvious doors. If I don't have to open the door, we I know we can pray and say, Father, open the heavens. We can say, Father, open the door. If the door is not to be opened, the Lord, give me an alternative. Show me the alternative to going through that closed door. Any closed door, any door that is trying to close up right now or is in the process of closing up for you, the Lord says, I will give you an alternative while you are helping me to figure out options out. Let me not break down, Jesus. Let me not panic around me. I know it seems like I can't go through this door. I know it looks like the door is closing. I can see that they are antagonistic. They are aggressive towards me. They want to close this door. But my God, my God, show me the alternative. And in the process, God, do not let me break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't become, let me become a history. Don't let me become an asterisk. Hallelujah. There are those who rule. There are those who are in asterisk. Tell God this morning, oh God, show me the alternative. Let me not become a comma. I don't want to be a, become a comma. I don't want to become a full stop. I want to become the biggest exclamation with a condition that I'm still continuing in the name of Jesus. I'm not done. If it needs to be three ellipses, dot is like dot, dot, dot. Turn over the page. There's another chapter coming my way. Your chapter is coming. He's, you are not finished. There's still chapter three. There's chapter four. There's chapter 60. There's chapter 70. I don't know where you are in the compass of your life, but it does not end in you being an asterisk. It does not end in you became, becoming a statistic. It does not end in you become a history. You are gonna not going to be a dinosaur, but you will be remembered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show the alternative to Megan. Oh my God, as the Lord lives and power lives, give me absolute rest from all forms of paralysis today and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, my God. I want you to know that your current situation does not define your tomorrow. When you are a person who is destroying paralysis, you need to know that my current circumstances does not define my tomorrow. In Mark 2, 3, he says, and they came bringing him to a paralytic man by carried by four men. And what gives me the confirmation? The Holy Spirit says to me, David, cry to the Lord. He says, I'm sure some of you may have felt the same way. And if you have felt the same way. Take courage in the book of Psalm 142, verse 3, 2, 4, 5, 6. He says, when my spirit faints within me, you know my way. Listen to David when he says this. He says, when my spirit faints, when my spirit feels like it cannot go on, when my spirit faints within me, you know the way, oh God. He says, you know the way. For as long as God, you are my GPS and you know the way. You know the way in the path where I walk. They have hidden a trap for me. David cried and says, they have hidden a trap for me. Look at the right and see there is no one who takes notice of me. Nobody is paying attention to me. No refuge remains to me. No one cares for my soul. He says, I cry to you, Lord. I say, you are my refuge. You are my portion in the land of the living. Can somebody shout it out loud? 
as you are crying to the Lord this morning and you declare to him and remind God, Lord, you are my portion. You are my portion in the land of the living. You are the one that takes me out. You are my refuge, oh God. He says in verse 6, attend to my cry. This morning, God, we came to ask you, attend to my cry for I am brought attend to my cry for I am brought very low. Do you understand that some of you have come to the point where you feel like you are at the lowest and the psalmist says when I, I was crying and I was asking God to attend to my cry and I was feeling like that I've brought I've been brought to my lowest deliver me from my persecutors oh God they are too strong for me by physical means but I know oh below that they are God is stronger than my enemies at a physical level I may look like I'm 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 I'm, I'm falling down at a physical level it might look like I'm, I'm, I'm losing the battle at a mental level. It might look like I'm breaking down, but my cry is going out to the Lord and the Lord is hearing me this morning. Hallelujah. He, the psalmist shows us in verse 7 of, of Psalm 142. He says, bring me out of prison that I may give thanks to your name. Do you understand that God has a vested interest to bring you out of your captivity and the prison that has been holding you back? Do you understand that his reputation and his, and his glory is at stake. He says, the righteousness, the righteous will surround me for you will deal bountifully with me. Somebody tell the Lord, deal bountifully with me. When he deals bountifully with you, he takes you out of that prison. He takes you out of that stuck state and stagnant state. Talk to me, somebody. Father, give us hope this morning. Give us encouragement now that my tomorrow will be all right. Tell your neighbor your tomorrow will be all right. I need you to type as fast as I'm preaching to you. I want you to declare and decree and tell your neighbor your tomorrow is going to be all right. The Lord is going to deal bountifully with you. My tomorrow will be all right. As you declare it, the Lord establishes in the name of Jesus Christ. As you comment it in the comment section and your amen is thundering louder. As I say it, the Spirit gives me more utterance to tell you what he's going to do. And he has told me books and swaps your tomorrow will be all right Bush, your tomorrow will be all right miss k your tomorrow will be all right honey Mwape, your tomorrow will be all right ribs your tomorrow will be all right vimbai your tomorrow will be all right madike lady karaba sondakia he never disappoints those who trust in the lord koshendekila basonda your tomorrow will be all right irrespective of what life is throwing at you i will win kalebe shonda that should be your confession right now. I will win. I will win. Irrespective of what life throws at me, I will win. You are my refuge. You are my safety. You are my protector. You are my portion. Kalia Masonda, is there somebody who is here? Koma, I don't know if you have seen that the Lord is your protector. He is your safety. He is your refuge. Talk to me, somebody. I will win. I'm running to the of the Lord. All we want in life is given. You are my portion, oh God. The portion of the Lord is distributed safely and in abundance to every single body who is in the sound of my voice right now. Father, we lift up our voices this morning. Father, by the action and the calling you have called me, oh God, I ask you to intervene right now in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ and help send help in the time of need. Let our tomorrow be all right in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, any form of prison of life that has been imposing paralysis on us, any form of paralysis that has been imposed in our families. Father, bring us out right now. Bring me out, oh God. Somebody needs to declare it right now. Say it with me together. Bring me out, oh Lord. Any form of paralysis, just shout out. Bring me out. Bring me out. Bring me out. When you trek with God, he has showed me many times that if I'm to destroy paralysis, I need my my divine helpers, my divine helpers, where are you this morning? May you lose sleep. May you be tormented until you do what you need to do. In verse 3, we see that this man who was paralyzed, he had four friends that were his divine helpers that came through for you. My prayer for you this morning is that your divine helpers shall not be caught napping. They will come and carry you and do what they need to do. They will open the doors that are required. They will carry you to the rooftop that if, listen, it does not matter whether you have a private jet or not. There is a divine helper that is going to fly you there. You are going to be catapulted. Hallelujah. 
I need you to understand that the reason why I have this confidence that that paralysis will be destroyed is because God has declared in his word that help is a promise. Help, H-E-L-P, it is a promise. Isaiah 41 verse 13, he says, I am the Lord your God. I strengthen you and tell you, do not be afraid. I will help you. Do you understand that when it comes out at a prophetic level like that, when he's telling you that I will help you, I will help you. I'm the Lord your God and I'm the one that gives you strength. I will help you. Help is a promise, Rufense. This is not a, 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 we are not begging God. We are asking him to honor his promises. His promises are yes and amen. Somebody needs to understand that when you have the keys that are in the word of God, you just unlock. This morning, Lord, we unlock the help key. Hallelujah. Verse 14 of Isaiah 41 says, the Lord says, small and weak as you are, Israel, do not be afraid. I will help you. The Lord will help you, small and weak as you are. I will help you. I, the Holy One of Israel, I'm the one that who saves you. I am the one who saves you. I'm the God. Oh my God. Oh, Shakali Masonda. While I'm praying for divine helpers to come, uh, while I'm praying that God, God, remove anybody who brought any form of witchcraft and came and disguised themselves as a divine helper. Meanwhile, they were a destiny destroyer. Lay your hands right now. The Lord has just asked me to pray for this. Father, we have accepted sometimes we have people have laid hands on us and they have derailed us, oh God. And we thought they were coming as helpers. We thought they are coming to, to help us. Father, and they were actually witches in disguise. They were witches in disguise. We destroy every single form of familiar spirit that will come and we are thinking that they are coming to help, oh God. Father, may we not rely on any familiar spirit. Every single medium that has tried to mislead us. Oh God, let them catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for even that one. That one that would even dare come on this broadcast, you witches, may you burn. I burn every single coven right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who tries to come and disguise themselves, they've disguised them as angels of light. They have come in as, as sheep, but they are wolves in sheep's clothing. This is what the Lord is showing me right now. I remove every hand of hell, every hand of the wizards and witches. I remove every prayer that you have received from a wicked person that disguised it as if you were receiving prayers and they were praying for the good for you. Right now, I unclog those ears. Whatever you heard, I reverse that prayer. It was actually a demonic prayer. I reverse it right now. I reverse it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, the Holy Spirit just drew my attention to that right now, that we need to reverse. There are certain things. Be careful what you hear. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you allow to enter your spirit because they can manipulate you. And yes, some of them will come as if they are men or women of God. We unplug it right now in the name of Jesus. We unplug it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my father, let's continue. Miss K, you, 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 I know there's intercessors on this broadcast and you know what I'm talking about. So when I catch it, I need to deal with it there and there. We remove every chain, Shalati. We remove every chain. Not every everyone who says they are wishing us well, they actually they, it's actually an enemy. It's actually an enemy, and they, they 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 come amongst us and they disguise themselves amongst us. But the Lord is sending help. Hallelujah. Isaiah forty one verse fourteen. He says, even if you feel small, even if you feel weak. He says, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. I will help you. I, the holy God of Israel, am the one who saves you. I, the holy one, I'm the one who saves you. I'm going to give some instructions at the end of the broadcast, but I just want to finish this message and teach it through. Can you shout to your neighbor, help is here. Help is here. Hallelujah. Help is here. Hallelujah. Help is here. When help comes, Shida, your marriage shall be restored. Help is here. 
Help is here. Dorothy, fear is out of your system completely. Help is here. Hallelujah. When we track with Isaiah 44 verse 2, he says, Thus says the Lord who made you, who formed you from the womb of your mother. He will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. Do you hear your word? Where is, where is she? Where is she? Come. Shida. The Lord says, I will help you. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Hallelujah. I'm the one that chose you. For I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring. That means your family is covered. Your children are covered in the name of Jesus Christ. I will pour my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. They shall spring up amongst the grass like willows or by, full, by flowing streams. They will spring up among the grass like willows by flowing streams. My father, my father, as I pray right now, people you want to use to carry me in this season who will not disappoint me, send them speedily. Let's pray that prayer together. Anybody that has been assigned to help you in this season, Father, let them come speedily in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is sent to help, Vanna, die. You are on this broadcast for a reason. I need you to exercise spiritual authority. If you are a believer, I need you to exercise your spiritual authority. This anointing, I'm stretching out my hand. Vanna, die. I speak to you specifically right now. I command that anxiety and that panic to leave you right now. I have commanded the help to enter your house right now. I need you to go right now. Whether you lay hands on his picture, whether you lay hands on him right now, right now, you are contacting this anointing for help right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't worry, I'm not raising my voice at you because I'm shouting at you. I, am, I want you to receive the strength and the boldness to understand that every form of paralytic spiritual paralysis, prayer paralysis that has been going on in your household, now it stops. The fear stops. You are empowered right now. Take it and receive it and go rush back and come back and tell me what's going on. Continue and stand in the faith. It's time we, we stop joking with the devil. Oh my God, send my destiny helpers right now. They must not disappoint me. Send them speedily, oh God. Send them speedily, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus. Grant us the boldness to speak and ask for help. Give us the spirit of not taking of, of not taking no for an answer. Tell your neighbor, I will not take no for an answer. I will not take no for an answer. Father, I hear you. Kalaba masanda. We enter into that covenant of help with you today. Lord, we are entering into the covenant of help today. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the rest of our life, we will never lack help. I want you to declare it and decree it right now where you are. Put your name, Sarah Mashifani. I will never lack help in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Luchi, I will never help lack help. You will never lack help. Nom Kosi will never lack help in the name of Jesus Christ. Anaga Bengele, you will never lack help in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not take no for an answer. I will not take no for an answer. Oh, Shakalia Masota Kadia Basunda. The Holy Spirit says direction is more important at times than speed. When they could not get near him because of the crowd. Sometimes you need an illumination of direction. Talk to me, hallelujah. Seek Jesus if you want to leave your paralyzed state. I will not be paralyzed. Can we shout it again in the comment section? I will not be paralyzed. Oh, she called Yama Sondaka. You may have stumbled and you may have you may be continuing to stumble, but the Lord has sent me this morning to tell you He will have mercy on you. Just seek Jesus and seek Jesus only. Don't seek any other alternative. If the door will not open, the God will give you another alternative. Irrespective of li where life has put you. Irrespective of wh where life has put you. 
May you never leave God. May you never leave Jesus as an option, as the only option. Let, 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 Lord, let me never stop looking for you. Let me not stop looking for your mercy. Let me not stop asking you for your grace. Let me not stop asking you for your intervention. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody needs to destroy this paralysis. Declare it again in the comment section. I will not be paralyzed. I will move. I will take action. I will not be paralyzed. In whatever way, my father, that we have done or did things that have prevented us from getting near to you, show them to us and deliver us from it. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, in whatever way, oh God, we have allowed associations of people to prevent us from coming near you, oh God, show us from the, to, uh, of those people, oh God, and deliver us from them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any doctrine that we have listened to that was a false doctrine that we have held on to hallelujah Koryama Sonda that has kept us away from joy any doctrine that has kept us away from our position of happiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father I command open their eyes open my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ no longer shall we be blind Oria Sonda Kiaba Sonda oh son of David have mercy on me open up our eyes so that we can remove paralysis so so that we can see the people who are trying to paralyze us, remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any altar that has been trying to paralyze you right now, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Any powers from your father's house, from your mother's house that has been trying to paralyze you right now, I command them to be to be catching fire in the name of Jesus Christ. They are obliterated, they are annihilated. My God, my God, as I open my eyes, oh Shikolia Masonda, I'm seeing the battle field where you are tormenting my tormentors, where you are troubling my troublers, oh God. Father, you are dealing with all of them. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of destruction in our lives that has been paralyzing us, we uproot you from the foundation. We uproot that thing from the foundation. We command, Lord, we are free in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. All forms of confusion that have been reigning in your life, every cluelessness, every sense of hopelessness, we reject them right now. We renounce them right now. Grant us direction, O God. May you receive the direction of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm here to decree and declare to somebody that there is a way you need to understand when that you serve a God that destroys any form of paralysis, that you understand that there is always a way. Tell your neighbor there is always a way. When you check to Mark chapter 2 verse 4, the Bible says, and when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above. There is always a way, child of God. I told you, if you can't go through the door, if you can't go through the wall, if you can't go through the crowd there is always a way if you not need to get and remove the roof remove the roof in the name of jesus my father thank you oh god because you will give us a way out of whatever paralyzing situation that we are in lord i challenge you carry amasonda Prove your faithfulness. Somebody needs to challenge the Lord and say, prove your faithfulness. My God, I know you are a faithful God. And this morning I challenge again and say, my God, prove your faithfulness. Every remaining blockage to your joy, every remaining blockage to your lasting peace in your life, every blockade that has been blocking you from accessing that door, every blockage from accessing that window, every blockage that has been blocked Blocking you from accessing the roof or wall. I remove them now by the powers that are vested in me, by the calling and the anointing upon my life. I command them to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier, every blockade, it is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove everything that has been blocking you off to access your greatness. I decree and I declare that DNA is your greatness. The DNA of greatness is your portion. Therefore, anything that has been blocking your access to greatness, right now, I remove it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, whatever way it is, whatever hole it is, whatever the excess that is coming, I see it. It's going to be big because God is going to do something bigger than you have not even phantomed or realized. Ear has not heard, eye has not seen the whole, the excess point that is going to be so big enough for you. It's going to be big enough, not only for you, but it's also going to be big enough for your loved ones. I wish you could shout that amen better than I'm preaching. Hallelujah. Lord, 
about to destroy the paralysis. My God, if we cannot see or do not see the way, send helpers that will help us see the way. Give us better eyesight. If I cannot see the way or I, I do not see the way, send me helpers that will give me a better eyesight so that I can see what you have given me. I can get step in into the satisfaction of my needs. My needs are met in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to decree and declare to somebody that you will and you must arrive. Tell your neighbor you will arrive. You must arrive. You will arrive and you must arrive. Verse 4 of Mark 2, the Bible says, but because the crowd could not get him to Jesus, so they made a hole in the roof. <laughs> Somebody is making a hole for you right now. As you rose this morning and came on this broadcast, as you rose to declare that, oh my God, I must get to my healing. I must get to my breakthrough. I must get to my deliverance. I must get to my financial progression in the name of Jesus Christ. I must get to my promotion. I must get to my application being approved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, the whole is being created for me. If I can't create this whole for myself, there are people who are creating a whole for me in the name of Jesus. Jesus let the men down in front of everyone. I see the Lord bringing you down. You are the spotlight. Let the men down in front of everybody. That is why he has said, I prepare a table in the presence of your enemies for them to see. Right now, you are being prepared. You, The table has been laid for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, let me down to where I finally get the help that I need. Make sure that I land in rooms where I will get the help I need. Make sure that I land in the rooms that they are talking favorably about me. Make sure that wherever they are gathered, they are gathered talking favorably about me. Talk to me, somebody. My God, my God, are we praying this prayer together? My God, let me land where I shall be favored, where I shall get the help that I need. Take me to the next bus stop of immediate. Take me to the next bus stop of everlasting intervention, immediate intervention, everlasting intervention. Take me to the emergency room of divine intervention. I don't know my God, if I can continue another second, if I need to get to the room of intervention, that emergency room, my God, catapult me. 911, it's a 911 situation. This is a 10 triple one situation. My God, I need to get to the emergency room of intervention. Daddy, I will not arrive at the place that will worsen my challenges. Father, let me not arrive at the place that will worsen my challenges in the name of Jesus. Father, let me not arrive at the place that Akadiyama Sondakia that will not bear value or add any value to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere where we will arrive from today and beyond it will be obvious, it will be visible that we have obtained the mercy of God. I see God, Megan, taking you to the place where you will be. It will be obvious, it will be evident that you are carrying the mercy of God. You are carrying the goodness of God. Come on, somebody, when you arrive, it will be obvious. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody begin to kill that paralysis one more time. I will not be paralyzed. Hallelujah. I see you arise, arriving at a place where you receive complete and full therapy. Do you understand where you are receiving holistic makeover? You are just being turned around. You are being made over everywhere because the Bible says in verse 5 of Mark chapter 2, when Jesus saw how much faith they had, he said to the crippled friend, my friend, your sins are forgiven. When he comes in to heal you, not only does he deal with the symptom that you came in into the doctor's room with, he says, I'm even giving uh, uh, forgiveness for your sins so that you don't carry the guilt that that you are not worthy and you are not deserving. You will not be paralyzed. Your sins are forgiven. The Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. So his steadfast love, it never ceases. Talk to me, somebody. Lamentations 3.22 gives us the assurance that his steadfast love, he never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Talk to me, somebody. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Somebody needs to declare this uh, and, and, and remind God, God, you have given me fresh mercies, new mercies this morning. If they never come to an end. Great is your faithfulness, O God. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. 
Can somebody declare it? Your mercies are new every morning. Your mercies, I receive new mercies. Declare and decree, I receive new mercies. Your steadfast love is what I'm holding on to this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God, I feel a song in my spirit. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies. Oh God, they are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Oh God, great is your faithfulness. If you can't pray it, sing it in the name of Jesus. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Your mercies are new every morning. I stand on your steadfast love. Paralysis is God. You may have come to me in the night. You may have come to me in the early hours. I am awake. The lion of Judah is awake. I am sitting on the head of the devil. I have rebuked. I have removed. You familiar spirit, I speak to you. Ah, I burn you by fire. Ooh. Oh, my soul will hope in the Lord. I will hope in him. I will not let him go. I will not let him go. Oh, yes, great is his faithfulness. Declare it. Do not hold it back. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. My father, daddy, my daddy, my daddy. If the challenge I have and the paralysis that I've been facing in any area of my life is due to any sin, any disobedience, please forgive me. You are a God that is merciful, that is forgiving, and your Instead, love will never cease. God, you are a forgiving God. Stop blaming yourself. Do you know what the enemy does? He doesn't want you to know that God has forgiven you. He wants you to be feeling guilty. But right now, receive the new mercies of forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, I pray for every single body at the sound of my voice. Uh, every power of sin that is still in their lives or in my life uh, that has been making us to struggle. Father, we ask for forgiveness. We ask for deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Remove, remove, remove any form of destruction, any form of ignorance. I don't care who are the people that have appointed them scribes, those Pharisees, those uh, Sadducees, hallelujah, that have been selfish. They've been lacking empathy. They have been sitting there questioning in their hearts why does this man speak like this? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive the sins but God alone? They missed it. They did not understand that there was a God amongst them. Some people around you, even some of them, they may be calling themselves men or women of the cloth and they are telling you that these sins cannot be forgiven. In this season, in this era, in this on this earth, on in this dispensation, the Lord is forgiving your sins right now. The Bible tells us that Jesus perceiving in his spirit they, that they were asking themselves questions. They were questioning the authority of Jesus said to them, why do you question these things in your hearts? Therefore, my father, my father, I come in the authority as you answer the scribes right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every distraction that is not allowing me to focus on my breakthrough, remove it and relocate me to the place where you need me to be in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I will not be distracted by the scribes that are telling me that you are not a forgiving God. I receive forgiveness of every sin, every stagnation, every form of sabotage that I've gone through. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord relocating you to your place of breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord removing the distractions that have been uh, hindering from you getting to your place of breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me five minutes, I'll be out of your hair. Whatever they want to say, let them say it, oh God, it shall not move me. Whatever they want to say, let them say it. Father, show me and show them that you are bigger than the expectations of men in my life. Father, show me and show them. Show me and show them. Sometimes we need also to be shown so that you listen, the confidence you will walk. The Lord is showing you, I am with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am bigger than the expectations of men. I am bigger than where they think I will end. In the mighty name 
name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I challenge you today to use us, oh God. Use our story to show forth your glory. I see it happening. It is evident in the name of Jesus Christ. Show us, Father. Show us. Use our story for your glory. Let the whole world, even the people who are questioning our future, even the people who are questioning our faith, even the people who are questioning where we are and where we are going, that you can and will make me great. You can and you will make us great. You can and you are making us great. We are great because you are our maker. Hallelujah. You will be a proof. I prophesy, I decree, Marie was. you will be, you will be a proof. You are the evidence. Mpote, you are the evidence. Hallelujah. Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven or to say, rise up and take your bed and walk. I hope you are ready. Let's go to gear seven, gear eight. I don't know if they've made those gears again in the car. Shake it here. Rise up and take your bed and walk or, or your sins are forgiven. But watch that you may know that the son of man has authority on the earth to forgive sins. Not only does he forgive sins, but he has the power to command you to take up your bed and walk. Lord, make our story and a testimony. Make my story to be a testimony. Make my story to turn to glory. Make my test to become a testimony. Oh, your testimony shall be so great. Child of God, those of you who are listening to the sound of my voice, uh, when people hear it, they will see and marvel at what God can do. Do you understand when God, uh, when God has stepped in and has given you such a big testimony, when they look at you and they marvel at what God can do, Lord, use me, use my life, use my story, use my life, use my life to confront the enemy of unbelief. Oh my God. God. Ah, Kariye Sende Kila Bashonda. Pray this prayer. Say, Lord, use my life. Lord, use my story. Use my story to confront unbelief in this world. Anybody that does not believe in God, your story shall confront them. When they look at your life, they will move from unbelief to believer. Show them that my God is alive and my, my God is, is a helper in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver us, oh God. Give us a testimony. Use it, oh God, to destroy unbelief in people's life. Use our testimonies of God to destroy every form of paralysis in Jesus' mighty name. I see it happening. Tell your neighbor it is happening. How am I doing for time? Three more minutes and I'm done. It will happen. It must happen. It shall happen. It will happen. I say to arise, pick up your bed and go home. Verse 12 says, and he rose immediately and picked up his bed and went out before them all so that they were all amazed and glorified saying, we never saw anything like this. I want you to see verse 12 says that we never saw anything like this. When he rose up and did what? He picked up his bed and walked. Hallelujah. He picked up his bed before them all and he went his way. He glorified God. Kariaba Sonda. And they looked at everything and they said, we never saw anything like this. My God. The instruction to rise up. The instruction to pick up your bed. The instruction that you must go forth in joy as I close this broadcast. Lord, I release it into the lives and destiny of all those who are the sound of my voice right now in the name, name of Jesus Christ. Abiela, we have never seen anything like this. Rise up and pick up your bed and go with joy. I command everybody at the sound of my voice right now, rise up, pick up your bed and go in joy. Rise up, pick up your bed and go in joy. The power of agency, the power of immediacy that can help a man overcome any form of paralysis right now, immediately, permanently right now release it into our lives in the name of Jesus Christ uh, an immediate release from paralysis uh, an immediate release agency urgency holy spirit i thank you financially i will arise Say that declaration with me. Come on, begin to declare and decree. Financially, I will arise. Financially, I will arise. I am picking up my bed and I'm going home. Financially free, I will celebrate. I am financially arising. I am picking up my bed and I will celebrate. Physically and health-wise, I will arise. I am picking up my bed. I'm going home joyfully and I will celebrate. 
Begin to declare for your health. Uh, said, tell somebody uh, that needs to hear this. Uh, tell your neighbor, tell your frenemies, announce it in the spirit realm, uh, physically and health wise. Uh, I will arise. I'm picking up my bed and I will celebrate. Uh, they will look at you and, and they will say, uh, we have never seen anything like this in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my God, that which will make people glorify you and say, we never saw anything like this. Uh, give it to me. My God, I pray this again as we close this morning and I thank you for visiting us and showing us your power my daddy Lord let the anointing that will glorify you in our lives that will dis destroy every form of paralysis that everybody will look at us and they say we never saw anything like this give it to us do it for us God do it for me oh God do it for me do it for us oh God in the name of Jesus Christ father we receive the anointing that says uh, it, we have never seen anything like this. We are Ovi, I have never seen anything like this. I have never, Petsy, I have never seen anything like this that has been done for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalati Sophie, I've never seen anything like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I close, this is our last prayer point. My father, my father. My father, my father. <clears throat> from wherever you are right now. All forms of paralysis that has rendered me useless. That form of paralysis that has rendered me irrelevant in some or most parts of my body, of my life, my business, my career. Right now, I command it to end in the name of Jesus. I command every form of paralysis to end now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare I am healed. Father, I decree and I declare that I am delivered. Quicken in me. Ah, kadiaba, soto kodiaba. Every anointing, every gene that will repel any form of paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. And the saints of God said, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for those of you who joined on Facebook and on YouTube and TikTok. Hallelujah. We can keep on declaring. Somebody type in the comment section, I will testify. It's my time to testify rather. It's my time to testify. The God of a thousand times more has come through for you. The God of a thousand times more has come through for you. I, I will testify. I will testify. I am testifying. It is my time to testify. There we go, Ovi. Bridget, it is your time to testify. Vanadai, the injection of the anointing and the strength that I have injected your way this morning. Do not joke with it. That unction does not always come anytime. And those of you who tapped into it, go and prosper. What I've injected in you is going to show you that you are a true believer. Don't doubt it. Thank you, Jesus. Every form of paralysis has been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Bridget, it's your time to testify. And Bode, it's your time to testify. Prayer Shandu, it is your time to testify. Patsy, it is your time to testify. Those of you on Mara Official, those of you on Fortune Online, please make sure you are following the host account. Make sure you are clicking on that bell in the name of Jesus Christ. Clicking on that bell and making bridge. Thank you so much. God bless you. You will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Abiela, it is your time to testify. Make sure you're following the host account. You go to the profile and you follow the YouTube. You can actually start. This is part two of our message on paralysis. Make sure you go and listen to the first one yesterday. And while you're at it, listen to the other messages as well. They will empower you. And I have no doubt that no longer will you be stoppable. You will be unstoppable. The devil will resist and they will flee in the name of Jesus Christ. I see Porter is also putting up my handle on all social media ch uh, channels. There is my name, Fortune Lahwabe. You can search with that name on all social media channels as well. It's Fortune L Online. Make sure you are following the right account. Those of you on TikTok, please make sure that you are not following the fake accounts. Okay. They can't keep up with my videos, so they can't even. So make sure you're not following the, the, the fake accounts. Okay.
and we are here every Friday, every every day, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. Today, we started a little bit later uh, than usual. My apologies for that. My sincere apologies for that. We had challenges that were beyond our control. And as I said, I ask for your prayers always. Thank you so much for always praying for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let me just say goodbye quickly to those of you who are on Facebook 